Man's best friend has definitely earned its spot over the years. And we mean years. What's going on guys? I'm Christina Thompson for 8012. It's hard to remember with how some people treat their pets, but these things used to be wild animals. Turns out man has spent tens of thousands of years domesticating pets. The reason we're so close to dogs they've been domesticated the longest. Researchers found canine domestication happened between 19 and 32,000 years ago in Ice Age Europe. How'd we do it? An extinct species of tame wolf would follow human tribes around looking for food scraps we left behind. Some things never change. That's an eternity compared to housebreaking cats. Wild cats have only been domesticated at most 12,000 years, with most estimates at nine when humans started farming near Cyprus and Egypt. People would store grain, which led to mice, which led to cats, which led to people putting them under human control. You could argue it's been 10,000 years and we still haven't done it. Ferrets have also been domesticated since ancient times, about 2,500 years ago. They were used for rodent control as well, but also for hunting rabbits. Most other ancient domestications have to do with farm animals and cattle, but nobody's keeping any oxen as a pet today. Not really, anyway. Rabbits themselves were domesticated by Catholic priests in the Middle Ages. That's when the church allowed young rabbit meat to be eaten while fasting during Lent. Fast forward a millennium or so and a lot more modern pets came under our thumb. The canary in the 1600s, cockatiel in the 1870s, and hamster less than 100 years ago have all helped round out the homeowner's menagerie. How we survived 30,000 years without couture doggy sweaters? Now that's the question. Catch you later on 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Make sure to like our videos, subscribe for more, and leave a comment. For the right price, I would think about raking your leaves.